Hi, this is a presentation of my DIY ESS kit, an energy storage system that will allow you to store your own energy from solar or wind at home. So this is what it looks like. So what is a DIY ESS? First, DIY is um, do it yourself. Everybody knows that ESS stands for energy storage system and kit is I'm gonna provide this I'm providing this as a kit so you have to build it yourself like an IKEA furniture for example this will allow you to store your surplus energy from solar or wind for later use so when the Sun is shining uh, and you don't have a use for it right away then you store it and this is going to be uh, doing this automatically for you uh, you will be able to maximize your self-consumption and reduce your energy bill eventually how does it work well it's actually pretty simple let's say you have solar panels on your roof already installed um, so what you basically do, you use a part of it to uh, run your appliances at home, but the surplus energy is uh, sold back to the grid. It's going back to the grid for uh, other users. What this system allows you to do is to keep the surplus uh, for yourself. So uh, based on the, first you have to know how much you're uh, using and how much you're generating. And for that, there's a great device called Watson Energy Monitor. And I chose this one because for me, it's, it's the best out there. It shows really um, nicely uh, for everybody to see at home how much you use, how much you use, how much you generate in real time. And this is the, the key starting point here. And with these two uh, figures, you're going to be able to to know the net usage, meaning the usage of your house minus the generated energy from solar or wind. And um, my system is going to adjust to this uh, net figure and store energy, surplus energy into uh, life PO4 batteries. These are batteries used in cars, uh, electric cars of course. And you will be able to uh, to store if there's a surplus or if uh, on the opposite there's a need for more energy then you will uh, start using this stored energy from the batteries to uh, power uh, appliances at home so it's going back and forth into the uh, storage system and of course all this is fully automated so you just turn it on and forget about it it's doing the job now to show you what it does over time here are some graphs provided by uh, Watson also uh, they have um, they have a website which is currently un under beta and it's allowing you to sh to see the um, uh, logged uh, power uh, used at home, a lot of power used at home, uh, also the generated power at, from your um, generation system, whether it's solar or wind, and the net usage. So for example, here we have uh, data over uh, 24 hours, a full day and night. So again, it's using the surplus power from solar charge the batteries and it's using the stored energy to generate power when needed to shave peaks to lower your usage and this could be any time during the day or during the night let's go to the next slide now after um, this is uh, this is working automatically right but I added a feature so in a simple button so that you can force the uh, charge mode 
and this is done with a simple button. You press for four seconds a push button and it's going to switch from automatic mode to forced charge mode, I call it. And it's going to basically turn on all the chargers in the uh, storage system to really push power into the batteries, this time uh, in a forced mode. So let's say uh, at night you have a time of use uh, plan with your energy provider, you can, you can force charge your system at night. That, that's what I've done all winter long. Um, during eight hours of uh, half price electricity, you, you store this cheaper half price elect electricity in, into the batteries and then it, it's all charged up at, in the morning and you can push the button again to switch back to automatic and it's going to start using this stored energy half price. Yeah, this thing about blackout, I haven't experienced any blackout in, in like 10 or 15 years here in France, but I, we hear something with the storms and this kind of power, the, the, all the grid problems and many black, blackouts seems to happen over the, in the world, in the US too. So I, I thought we, we can address this just by adding, it's not in the ESA's um, basic kit, but you could you could add this feature uh, for for like uh, two or three hundred dollars. You invest in a small uh, like three thousand watt um, regular inverter and wired onto um, the basically the battery pack. Uh, you could use this stored power from your uh, energy um, for, from any source of energy you can use this uh, stored energy into from the batteries and, and, and push it into this uh, regular inverter and plug anything into the outlets like a fridge a light or computer um, and power your appliances at home during the blackout I don't know a few hours maybe depends uh, on your the load of course uh, you can really uh, probably use most of your pack this way so that's about it for this very very first uh, video presentation of my uh, DIY ESS kit um, I had I've had a few customer over the last year and I have to say that it's really starting to pick up. It's very, uh, very new, um, but this has been working for me at home for over a year now. So I can say that it's really, really working. The batteries are very strong uh, holding. They can actually put out a much more energy that, than uh, what they are doing with this ESS. They really uh, taken care of, uh, charging pretty slowly, discharging rather slowly. It's not like a, an electric car requiring much more power when you accelerate. This is just easy for them. So I think they could last really, really long. And in the meantime, they could be replaced with other technology. Uh, this is not at all fixed. Everything can change. It can be adapted. Everything can be can be really, really uh, changed over the years. But this is a very uh, good starting point and it's really working for me here. So I hope to see you there. Uh, please check out my website, diyesskit.com. Started as a blog and now it's, it's a full uh, domain name. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you later.